Victoria 2 was a really good game. And people want Victoria 3. It's not a meme request. It's not a joke that people want this game. And if you agree with me, then you shouldn't be silent. You should be letting people know that you want Victoria 3. Because you know what? I do. Primarily the website and the article from the website that I want to focus on is from a website called PC Games N Squared, I guess. I'm not super sure. PCGames.com, let's call it. And this article in particular is what I wanted to take a look at. Victoria 3 will be announced in May. Maybe. Paradox Interactive just wrapped up their Paradox Insider event on Twitch, which was in association with blah blah blah. They're giving you all the basis here. ParadoxCon is the fan gathering the company hosts every year, so Paradox Interactive is the company that makes Victoria 2 and the rest of their games, and they get to uh, have a little convention where they get together and they announce a lot of new games that are going on. Now there's one that's coming up pretty soon here, and there's been some rumors that Victoria 3 would be announced here. Personally, I don't know if I super believe it, I think that... I know that it's been a more recent release, but I think Europa Universalis 5 would be a more likely release. But hey, enough with the nerd talk about games that are going to be released, uh, potentially. I mean, we'll find out when we find out. I want to stay focused on this. So, they're going to have a digital-only event called Paradox Convention Remixed. As with the fast-paced, I'm sorry, the past face-to-face <laughs> -face events, there will be new announcements, panels, and press sessions looking at their 2021 slate in more detail. Paradox CEO, he wouldn't reveal any details, but she did confirm that there would be an announcement regarding a new game from Paradox Development Studio. So there's a new game coming out that Paradox is making, and uh, from what I've heard, it's one of their main strategy studios. So they have, Paradox has grown to be quite a big company, and they work on a couple of games at a time, and they have a few different studios but they have a few studios that deal with their flagship games. Now, these are games like Imperator, uh, followed by Crusader Kings and Europa Universalis, Hearts of Iron, and Stellaris. Recently, they've released Imperator, and then they've released uh, Crusader Kings 3, and there's another article that I do have here about Crusader Kings 3 and about how it, that means it might be time for Victoria 3. Um, but, you know, we haven't really got any, anything past that in their most recent lineup. Before that, there was Stellaris and Hearts of Iron and all that good stuff. All great games, by the way. I'm just looking for something a little bit different, you know, like a Victoria 3. Anyways, Victoria 3? Victoria 3. It could also be Europa Universalis 5. Personally, I think that there's a higher chance for that. What it looks like to me is Paradox is getting their um, IPs organized chronologically. So, for example, they finished off with their Stellaris game. And now they're saying, well, we might as well take this opportunity to get our games in order, and that way we can really get them organized for continuous campaigns. So they released uh, Imperator Rome, which takes place at the oldest time chronologically, followed by Crusader Kings 3, um, which takes place in the medieval era, right after Rome. And then I would guess that they're going to release Europa Universalis 5 after that. But what needs to happen then after that, then, ladies and gentlemen, is they need to release Victoria 3. And we're going to continue with this article, but here's what I want to point out here. A lot of people really want Victoria 3, and what tends to happen, and what this article will do later as well, is a lot of that gets brushed to the side, and they say, well, these are just memes. Nobody really wants the new game. These are just jokes. What's the joke? What's the joke? People make content about a game that they really liked and about how they want a new one. People don't make random jokes about games that they didn't enjoy and don't want new games of. That doesn't make any sense. Anyways, I think that at some point they need to do a Victoria 3 to continue Victoria 2's legacy. And uh, if you guys agree with that, I think that we need to let Paradox know. And one way that you can let them know is of course by liking videos that talk about Victoria 3 and commenting under them to help out with the algorithm. So if you guys agree that P P Victoria 3 should be a game that Paradox Interactive makes at some point here coming up very soon, be sure to like, and not just, I'm not just talking about my video, but like other people's stuff where they talk about Victoria 3 too. Make it big. Get it into the algorithm. Get it in front of Paradox's face and these journalists' face so that they see that we want this game. Because at this point, I think that these journalists are tainting the views of the studios in charge of making this stuff. And you'll see what I mean. It can also be EU5, as that would be the next one in line, like I was saying, if we're looking at the release order of the previous generation of Grand Strategy Games. Stellaris 2 would be an outlier. I'd be really surprised if they did a Stellaris 2. I feel like that game's still a little too new. Not that it's 
super new, but that game has gone through some significant changes and might some might feel a sequel is needed. Uh, no, we don't need Solaris 2, is my personal opinion. Let me know if you disagree, though. I could maybe be convinced. Or we'd be, we could be looking at a new IP. Imperator Rome was released in 2019, and it has a very rocky road. Imperator Rome, I don't think, was very much a new IP. It was a remake of an even older game called Europa Universalis Rome, if I'm not mistaken. But whatever. It sold well enough to keep the dev team working on it, and the recent 2.0 update has really given a new lease on life. I, I enjoy um, Imperator. And this line right here, though, this is what really gets me. How they re go on and end this article. They say, Victoria 3 is the current meme request. Follow that thought through. It's a meme request. These articles keep saying it. And even, I know I keep jumping back and forth, but even this other article that they have, it's a meme, but Crusader Kings 3 is why it's time to talk about Victoria 3. What's the meme? What's the joke? Is like the implication is that there are people who didn't, I guess, really like Victoria 2 or liked it, but didn't think it's good enough to warrant a sequel. And they, but they liked the game enough though, to where they'll take time out of their day to make a bunch of requests online and to make a bunch of content for it. All a meme is, is, a, is an expression of an idea on the internet. That's all it is. It's a funny picture that's conveying the way that someone's feeling or thinking. And people are making memes about Victoria 3 like crazy. People weren't making pictures and all this stuff of the old Imper Imperator game, of the old Europa Universalis Rome. People are interested in having the next game onto the Victoria th franchise. And so they go on there, they're frustrated that nothing is happening, and they make content and they make posts expressing that frustration, saying, hey, I really want a new game in this series. And the response from these guys is to say, oh, it's the current meme request, uh, as if it's not serious. Guys, if we didn't want the game, if we thought it was a bad game, we wouldn't talk about it. It would never be brought up. There are like so many crappy games that nobody talks about because they didn't leave a lasting impression. Victoria 2 left such a lasting impression that people still today, a decade later, are making content about that game, are updating mods about that game, are still playing that game and still leaving reviews for it. People want the next game in the Victoria th in the Victoria series. I almost say Victoria 3 every time there. It just frustrates me when they say, this is the newest meme request. Well, listen. It's not a meme request. It's not a meme request at all. And if you agree with me, like this video, comment in this video, subscribe for more Victoria content, because personally, I'm a little sick of them saying, them belittling and minimizing the wants that we have from the company. Who is PC games with an N? Has this person even played the games? They can come on here, they see a couple of jokes on the internet and say, oh, it's just a meme request. What are you talking about? How is it a meme request? Explain to me why you think the fans aren't serious when they say that they want a new game. You think these people won't snag up the third game? Is that really what you think will happen? These people all bought the second one, and that's a it was kind of a buggy mess. So you think if they made a better one and for Victoria 3, they wouldn't do that? That doesn't make any sense, guys. And all these excuses as to why we don't want a Victoria 3, it's it's ridiculous. And even this right here, this post. Memes aside, do people actually want a Victoria 3? It's something I would like to see. Then it's not a meme, dude. Then it's not a joke. These aren't, people aren't memeing. Or the, if they are memeing, they're expressing their interest in the topic that is Victoria 3. Certainly something to cover 1821, blah, blah, blah. Although to be honest, I would rather see Europa Universalis extended to 1836, as the game in the age of revolutions is when it gets really fun. Well, I, that doesn't really extend onto 1936. And people down here will talk about all of these different ideas. What, is this all memes here? All of these people talking about how they want to see the game, but they are all talking about how the game could be improved because they like the game. They're not walking away from it. They want the game to be improved because they want to play it. And you'll hear excuses as well. And these excuses don't hold any water to me. They'll say things like, well, it's the concert of Europe. It's not really a very fascinating time in history. What? What's a more interesting time in history? This encompasses the Mexican-American War, extra colonialism across Africa, the rise of communism and fascism across Europe and the rest of the world, World War I, the Great Depression. It's crazy. The Gilded Age, industrialization. 
Japan's rise on the world stage. It it's, blows my mind that people will go out there for this game and say, we want this game, we want Victoria 3. And then their response is, oh, well, they're just joking. They're just joking. What's the joke? If you can let me know, let me know down in the comments below. If you want Victoria 3, let me know in the comments down below. Let's get some comments in here. Let's boost this in the algorithm. Let's get this in front of people. Let's show Paradox that we want this game. This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous that we, we honestly ask a company to make something for us. And I don't blame Paradox, but we honestly ask a company to do something for us to make a product that we really like. And then journalists will come in and say, it's a meme request. What's the meme? What's the joke? Because I don't get it. And maybe I'm just dense, okay? Maybe that's the case. But if you disagree with this being a meme request, like the video, watch other Victoria 3 videos and like them. Subscribe to creators that make content about Victoria 3. Amplify their voices so that they can get a little bit more attention and that way Maybe they'll take this a little bit more seriously instead of just calling us a joke because that's what they're doing.